In this video, we will discuss the pathological features of fibromatosis. In the word fibromatosis, fibro means fibroblast and osis means excess growth. So basically fibromatosis are infiltrating proliferations of fibroblasts that are non-malignant. Infiltrating means that these masses invade or infiltrate the surrounding tissues locally, but non-malignant means that they do not metastasize to other organs. So infiltrating proliferations of fibroblasts are called fibromatosis. Now based on their location, they are divided into superficial fibromatosis or deep fibromatosis. Superficial fibromatosis occur in superficial fascias or superficial tissues. And the examples of superficial fibromatosis are palmar contractures that develop in palms of hands and plantar contractures that develop in the plantar surface of feet. The second type of fibromatosis is called deep fibromatosis or desmoid tumors. Deep fibromatosis or desmoid tumors. They develop in the deep tissues of the body. For example, they may develop in abdomen. And if they develop in abdomen, they are called abdominal fibromatosis. So the two types of fibromatosis are superficial fibromatosis and deep fibromatosis. Now let's come to the morphology of fibromatosis. Both superficial and deep fibromatosis have same morphology and as I have already said that they differ only in their location. So morphologically, they consist of cytologically bland fibroblasts that are arranged in form of fascicles. Cytologically bland means that they lack any specific or remarkable cellular features and are simply like normal appearing cells. So in this diagram, you can see that these are cytologically bland fibroblasts arranged in the form of fascicles. Now surrounding these fascicles of fibroblasts, there is a dense network of collagen tissue. So you can see here in this diagram that there is a network of collagen tissue surrounding these fascicles. And in some histopathological slides, you may see that these fascicles of fibroblasts would be invading or infiltrating the surrounding local tissues. So overall on microscopic picture of fibromatosis, you see cytologically bland fibroblasts arranged in the form of fascicles. And these fascicles are surrounded by dense network of collagen and along with this there may be some local invasion or infiltration. So this concludes the pathology of fibromatosis.